Hi, uh, welcome back, boys and girls, to the MedCenter.com. So uh, I've been looking through the uh, accounting paper uh, for IGCSE, and there are some quite interesting questions. So for a change today, I'd like to take a look at paper two. So um, paper two has some. I'm looking at this 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 one. Okay, now people, the questions I think uh, you can see it down there, but actually I just pick up the important points and I talk about the question. I think my understanding is very important. So I'm going to look at this accounting paper, the variant is 2-2, and this is from the October, November, 2020. This is from question number four. Uh, this is about Carlos who owns a business, sells computer equipment. Okay. Now, uh, the first part of this question is part A and part B carries a total of seven marks. Okay. Part A is a one mark question. It's pretty simple. They just, okay, uh, before that, before that, they give you some information here. They gave you sales for this business of Carlos, 240,000. Garrett Kela is in short form. Huh? Cost of sales, COS, again, short form. To save time, 169K. Uh, the operating expenses is 55,000. Okay, and what else? The drawings uh, made by Carlos was 18,000. And finally, the capital employed. Capital employed is 62,000. Okay, so all this information are given, this, uh, these five facts are given and they, and they tell you that Carlos sells computer equipment and for the year ended, okay, they're asking you for two years. Now, this is not bad. This is for calculate the profit, find profit. They ask you find profit for year ended the 1st of July, 2020. Given that year ended the 1st of July, 2019, the figure is 11,550. Now, this previous year's figure was just given to us because later on in this question, it was quite good. They asked you to compare the performance of both years. So now you are supposed to calculate for the current year, which is 31st of July, 2020, based on all this information given above. Okay, cool. You can look for the question here. It's written here and you can see it. But here I am just uh, extracting out the info important information. Now, very important. They ask you show us workings. Show the workings, okay? So very simple for profit, it will be sales, right? Minus cost of sales, minus operating expenses. And so your working is just 240,000 minus the cost of sales, 169,000. And of course, minus the operating expenses, 55,000. And that will give you 16,000. And that, that was the first part of the question. Now part, okay, cool. So the profit for the year, it will be the sales less cost of sales, which actually arrives at the gross profit. And then you minus all the other operating expenses, um, which you kind of portion off, for example, wages, rent, insurance, etc., uh, which will come up to finally a net figure of 16,000. So 16,000 this year compared to last year, 11,550. So it looks like business is pretty good. Okay. Now the next part, Part B, which carries six marks. They say find the profit margin and find the gross margin. Okay, a little bit of a tight squeeze here, I know. And D, the return on capital employed. Again, all this is to show workings. They gave you the previous year's results. The previous year's results for profit margin was 8.56%. The gross margin was 34.26% and the ROC was 32.08%. Cool. So how do you find profit margin? Profit margin would simply be the profit, the net profit for the year over the sales, right? Times 100%. And so your working here would have been 16K as given above over the sales, 140K times 100%. So for things which are like this simple calculation, you have to know the formula. Can't miss. If you miss, too bad. 
So the, it works out to be 29.58%. It is safe to leave your answer in two decimal places, okay? So gross margin will be the gross profit. Be careful, huh? Over sales times 100%, which in this case, the gross profit will be this one. It will be sales minus cost of sales, which would have been, again, you have to show you're working. They tell you specifically show you're working. So take 240,000 less 169,000 over the sales of 240,000 and you times 100% to get the percentage. And oh, sorry, I'm bad. My bad, my bad. This works out to be 6.67%. Okay? Wait, wait, let me rub this off. Sorry about this. Because I'm trying to cram everything in. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just a minute. Okay. Sorry, the just now above, the profit margin 16,000 worth 240,000 at 100% works out to be 6.67%. Okay, that means for every $100 that you in uh, of sales, $6.67 come back to you as clean profit. Whereas for gross profit, it comes up to 29.58%. It's pretty good for every $100 of sales, almost $30 comes back to us as gross profit, just as in the business, car loss business, okay? Now, return on capital employee, again, you take profit. Now, because they've given you capital employee of 62,000, so expected to use that, profit over 62,000 times 100%. And this works out nicely to be, sorry, the working is 16K, which is the net profit as seen in part A, over the capital employee of 62K times 100%. And this works out nicely to be 25.81%. Now, what does capital employee means? Uh, capital in the form of equity and your long-term loans, et cetera, that uh, is used to generate business. For So let's say for every $100 of capital employee, $25, almost $26 comes back. Uh, as return. That's very, very good. Study down from last year, which is even higher, 32.08%. Okay. Now this kept the employee here, this was, sim this was simple. They gave you the figure. There are questions where they tell you to use opening capital employee or the state use closing capital employee or rare, rarely, but there are uh, average capital employee. But in this case, they've just given you capital employee. So you just use the 62,000. Okay. So you can rewind this video again and um, watch this slowly. This is to me quite easy and this is just easy seven marks to get. In the second part, the question was a little bit harder where they asked you to comment on the performance between current year and previous year. And that was another six marks, okay? But we'll see you in the next video. Okay, give us a like, share this with your friends on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and YouTube and give us plenty of likes. That way, I'll be encouraged to do more and more of these videos. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.